Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice plain geometry problem. We have this right angle triangle ABC. Then within this right angle triangle, there's a circle with center O. And we have to find the distance between B and O. Please pause the video and try. But if you are new here, please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name the point of contact. So I'll call this point of contact D. Then I'll call this point of contact E. And lastly, I'll call this point of contact F. All right. Now we are saying that O is the center of the circle. So what it means is that the distance from D to O is actually the radius of the circle. Okay. And again, the distance from O to F is also the radius of the circle. Then lastly, the distance from O to E is also the radius of the circle as well. All right. Now you can see that this radius is perpendicular to line B, C. Okay. So what it means is that the angle over here is 90 degrees. All right. Then this angle over here is also 90 degrees. Then this side is also 90 degrees. So you can see that we have a square over here. And one of the properties of a square is that all the sides are equal. So what it means is that this length, which is length DB, is also R. Then this side is also R. All right. Now from the right angle triangle ABC, you can see that the distance from A to B is 12 units. Then the distance from B to C is 5 units. And lastly, the distance from A to C is also 13 units. So if I want the distance from C to F, having known that the distance from B to C is 5, I'm going to subtract R from 5. Okay. Then this length, we have AB to be 12 units. So if I want AD, I'll just subtract R from 12. Okay, now one important thing you should note is that the length of a tangents from external point to a circle are equal. Okay, so what this statement means is that this is the external point. So the length of this tangent is the same as the length of this tangent. So this side will also be 5 minus r. Okay, likewise this one we have external point over here. So the length of AD is the same as the length of A. So this line is also 12 minus R. Now looking at this line, you can see that the total length of AC is equal to 13. Okay, so it means that when we sum this 12 minus R and then this 5 minus R, we should be getting 13. Okay, so I'm going to say that the length of AC is equal to the length of AE, then plus the length of EC. Okay, now the length of AC is 13, and this is equal to, the length of AC is 12 minus R, plus the length of EC is 5 minus R. So from this equation, we can find the radius of the circle. So we have 13 over here, then 12 plus 5 is 17, so we have negative 17 here, and this is equal to negative 2r. 13 minus negative 17 is nothing but negative 4, and this is equal to negative 2r. Now, dividing each side of the equation by negative 2, this will cancel this. Now, we have 2 is equal to r, and this implies that r is equal to Two units. So the radius of the circle is 2. So we can say that r is equal to 2. So now that we know r to be 2, it means that the length of bf is equal to 2. Then the length of fo is also 2 units. Okay. Now we want bo. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem over here. So we have bo. The length of bo squared is equal to the length of bf squared plus the length of fo squared now we have bo squared is equal to 
Now the length of BF is 2, so we have 2 squared, then plus this one is also 2, so we have 2 squared. And this is equal to 2 squared is 4, so we have 4 here. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So it means that the length of BO squared is equal to 8. Now let's make BO the subject by taking the square root on both sides of the equation so that this one will cancel this. Now we have the length of BO is equal to root 8. And root 8 is also the same as square root of 4 times square root of 2. Okay, now square root of 4 is nothing but 2, so we have 2 root 2. And we are talking about distance over here, so we we'll bring our units. Okay, so this implies that the length of BO is equal to 2 root 2 units. Okay, so this distance is 2 root 2 units. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.